Guys, I'm here to do Basketball Wives LA Season 3, Episode 7 review. I'm not going step by step. It's just certain things I want to talk about that happened in this episode. So, here we go. Jackie and Doug. Don't you ever, 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 ever make us look at y'all in y'all underclothes again. Ever. Doug look like a bottle of Joy dishwashing liquid. I'm just saying, like, yellow and nothing's there. Jackie, horrible. Because at first I was like, are they answering the door in their pajamas? Did they just wake up? But don't y'all ever do that again. They was getting their body sculptured or whatever for the Hennessy cognac whatever bottle that she trying to come out with. I'm like, y'all couldn't come up with no, no other creative idea but to have y'all two bad-looking body asses up there. But whatever. Then when they were trying to, um, Sunday came over and she was even uncomfortable. And I'm sitting there like, girl, shut up. But anyway, um, they were talking about names for the bottle. And when Jackie said Golden Shower, I was like, did she just say what I think? Ew. Whatever. Jackie, I understand you trying to make money every way you can on every season that you on here. But something should not come out your mouth. I'm just saying. And Doug, you better take her checkbook because she wasting your money. Um, what else I want to talk about? Jackie, um, British, and Sunday met up. And they talked about um, Palm Springs and about the fight and all that bullshit. And I was liking how British was like, how you guys didn't. Because remember, I was like, I can't wait to see what British is going to say about them not inviting her to Palm Springs. And they supposed to be her friend or whatever. But they didn't tell they was talking about how because she would have popped off or whatever. And we all know that 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 fight would have went like it would have been royal rumble because british would have jumped up then malaysia would have jumped up brandy would have jumped up it would have been a bad situation for jackie i'm just saying so but she i like how she called it out like how the hell y'all gonna say i'm messy when sunday is messy sunday's always in something every episode that bitch mouth is running and every episode we calling that bitch a bitch so yeah I think everybody should have went, so we could have saw some action last week. I'm just saying. More the action than... No, they still wouldn't have showed us, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, Dre and British met up at the shoe store to talk about the beef that she got with Malaysia, the beef she got with Brandy, because Dre was like, well, you know I'm not the peacemaker or whatever, but she really just wants to talk about the beef. So, about the dry high and the general high and... I just don't get it with these highs and buys. And even Dre was like, you know, can you just could have took it like, because I'm like that too. If I don't like one bitch in the room, I'm just going to say hi like to everybody. So, we won't, won't make people feel uh, awkward. But she was like, I could still say hi to this person, hi to this person, still not say hi to I'm like, you petty bitch. Then she was talking about her shit with um, Brandy and talking about how Brandy is rude. Talking about, well, I don't even know if she's rude. I just think she ditzy and she's, um, I mean, she dingy or something. And I'm like, girl, all the shit you and said these damn, I mean, episodes, seven episodes, and you want to call her dingy, the shit that comes out your mouth and you pops off any fucking time. Bitch, any bitch that gets mad over a dry high and you want to call somebody else dingy, come on, whatever. I don't like British, and I still don't like Sunday. I don't think they can do anything this whole season that's going to make me like them because they, you know, they say first impressions is everything, and they rub me the wrong. Wait, the first episode. So, anyway, um, she told her, she invited her to this event that she's having. She was like, you know, I'm having this event. I want all the ladies to come. Um, she was like, you can have a plus one if you want to bring Jackie or if you want to bring Sunday, whatever. So, moving on to that zombie event that Drea had. Drea had this event. She wanted everybody to run around, run from some zombies. They had to catch the flag, which I thought it was cool. 
don't know. I would have probably been like Malaysia too. Like, bitch, are you crazy? What the fuck is this? But I get what Drea was trying to do. She felt like, shit, we can't get together no other way. Fuck it. Let's just do this. And I was laughing when that bitch was like, well, I came ugly, so won't nobody be mad. I was like, oh, you throwing shade even to your own homegirls because a Malaysia and Brandy there too. Bitch, you throwing shade to them too. I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, they do this little zombie running or whatever. And afterwards, they end up talking. Oh, was it before? What, they end up talking or whatever. And they, British and Brandy was basically squaring out their little differences or whatever about how, um, Brandy just felt like she say whatever. British feel like she say whatever, but it wasn't meant like that when she was talking about Lorenzo. And she was like, well, I was just telling you because my husband played this position and he's weight this much and I was happy for my husband and yada, 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 bullshit. Then she brought up Malaysia and I'm sitting there like, girl, get over it. Get the fuck over it. I'm just saying. Now, what I didn't like, messy ass Jackie once again brings brings up mess where it comes to Drea and Brandy. Now, I understand where Brandy is coming from. Don't get me wrong. I understand where Brandy is coming from where she feels like, bitch, I ain't calling nobody my friend. I only been knowing you bitches for five weeks. I'm not calling none of y'all my friend. We building something to become friends. I get that. But I get where Drea coming from, too. Bitch, if you got my number and we cool and we having these one-on-ones, I'm thinking we cool. We friends. Whatever. Especially, and it's not even that. My problem with it was, why would you go tell Jackie and Sunday that Drea's not your friend? Bitches that she don't like, she don't get along with, really. Why would you go tell them that so they can throw it in her face? You know Jackie throw everything in everybody's face. So why would you... That that was my problem with that. Like I said, I'm not mad that she said they're not friends because they haven't known each other that long. Okay, I get that. But, Drea, I get where you coming from too, bitch. Now I know where we stand. Bitch, I'm over here calling you my friend. We going out. We, call, we chilling. We going places. We got the kids hanging out. I'm thinking we cool. Like I say, some people, you can just, you just know. You just be like, okay, I can consider them as a friend. You just know they not messy. They not with that bullshit. They with some, they want better for their life. Some people, you just know. Some people, you be like, okay, I'm kind of a little guarded. We got to work our way up into a friendship. But some people, you just know that you can just click with, you vibe with, and you can be like, okay, we, we cool. Because I'm telling y'all. My best friend now, um, my best friend Angela, when I first met her, I met her in 2005. My daughter, yeah, 2005. And when I first met her at school, the first day of school, I looked at her, she looked at me, and we didn't think we were going to like each other. Just by looks alone, we just was like, nah, we ain't going to vibe. But by lunchtime, I was like, oh, she a cool chick. We started talking at lunchtime at school, and I was like, okay, she a cool chick. From that moment, we just was like this. We were thick as thieves, always together, always talking to each other on the phone. We was real, I considered her my friend. Probably within five weeks, I considered her my friend. So, all that, oh, you don't know people, you don't know if they're your friend. Some people you just know, and some people you just got to work up on a friendship too. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, whatever. Um, what else I want to talk about? Nothing really. Just the last thing I want to talk about, because the rest of the show I can care less about. The last thing I want to talk about is Chantel, her mama, <laughs> and Drea. Okay, they met up. Jackie ambushed Drea with Chantel because she didn't know Chantel was coming. And... It seemed like the moment Chantel sat down, she had an attitude. Talking about, I just want to hear what you got to say to my face. All the stuff that you were saying behind my back or some bullshit she was saying. And I'm like, did I miss some shit? She wasn't talking about this girl. All she was doing was telling her mom what was said. Then they was talking about, well, she was just going in on Dre. And Dre was just looking at her like, 
What are you talking about? I only told your mom what I was told. Oh, who is this friend I'm sleeping with? Who is this person I this? And who is this person I paid to go to Seattle? You don't know what the fuck you talking about. And, you, and I'm sitting there like... Dre was like, I just told your mom what I was told, what I heard. I didn't say it was facts. This is what I heard, so I told your mom. Your mom came back to you. Because she was trying to make it seem like Orlando and Drea just was talking about her and got they her name all up in their mouth and they just worried about her. She like, your mama brought this up in Palm Springs. Every time your mama got a fucking chance, your mama brought it up. Your mama brought this to Drea because you took it to your mama. So, come on. I was just like, this bitch just want to get airtime this, each, this season. She just want to get airtime so bad. Because last season, you hated your mama. You bashed your mama. You talked to Laura about your mama. You didn't know shit about Laura. And I'm just like, why? Jealousy? Is it jealousy? Yes, it is. Just period, point blank. It has to be jealousy when it comes to Jackie and Chantel with Drea. Because even Drea's like... Y'all mad because I'm with my man. I'm happy. She like, you and your blended family and your little... I'm like, are you jealous? Are you mad that she got what you wanted? What's the problem? What What's the problem? Because if you wasn't that mad and it wasn't that serious with Orlando, you wouldn't be this pissed off with her. And if, I think Drea wanted to bop her so freaking bad, but she was like, no, I don't have no backup here. I know if I hit this bitch, I'm going to get jumped by her and her mama, so I'm just keep my cool. But, oh, I wanted to hit Chantel for Drea. That's really how I felt, because I was just like, bitch, sit down and stop trying to get camera time. Just sit down. Because you're making yourself look real dumb. Because you bashing this girl and everything that Drea just told you, She's been saying she never called you a hoe. She never bashed you in a negative way. She just was like, well, my man told me this is what happened. This is the only thing that she can go by is what he told her. So this is what she can bring back to your mom. She didn't try to hide it from your mom. Like, hey, this, this is what's being said about your daughter. I don't get it. I can't wait till next week when Orlando sit there and confront them because he just went in soon as she started sitting down. And then it was more of Jackie trying to go at Orlando than it was Chantel because she knew the shit was true. Just saying. So I can't wait to see it. So tell me what you guys thought about Basketball Wives LA Season 3. Hold on, Episode 7. Um, tell me what you guys thought about this episode. I might have missed a lot, but like I said, this episode didn't give me what I wanted to give to y'all. So, And I just wanted to talk about Chantel and Drea anyway. Um, yeah, follow my girl Ashley Miller, 1987, um, Mike B. 801, Squeaky Jones, Nay Besta, Mark, Marcus Williams, um, yeah, follow all my little YouTubers that I watch, y'all watch, share their videos, like them, all that good stuff, I'll be back tomorrow for my Support Tuesday, Volume 2, and I'm also gonna do my Ghetto Views tomorrow because... It's too much shit in the damn news and the blogs and the shit for me to just wait to the weekend. So, I'll be back tomorrow for two more videos. Alright, you guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Xbox Live. I do everything by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Alright, you guys. Peace out.